I mean, let's be serious. I mean, this is a little bit more impressive. King Yellow, Famous Rats, Gunna69, Real Boston, Richie Diss. I mean, number one, King Yellow is a rat. Number two, Skinny from the Nine. I mean, come on. This is what they think they're doing. They think that they're, they're Slim Jesus, and they're just not. Um, okay, I still have to watch the actual King Yellow thing before I can get done this. All right, here we go. The culture vulture. That to me, when I hear people say culture vulture over and over like that, it's like, whoa, you're like genuinely impressed by being able to rhyme two words together. Like you really think that that's a substitute for making a point. 16 and under level. Okay. I love when he uses this argument. I have never been accused by an underage girl of doing anything sexually with them. He's on paperwork. He's a registered sex offender. Fact check me. On the Go watch the 1090 Jake video about him. Oh, brother, that rap about buttholes and transmissions and- How am I an undercover brother? I am not black and I am in no way undercover about my weird behavior. That being said, I'm not gay. You even said some some weird on the song with, with uh, uh, Big Sad. Sad got the video took down, but- that's not how that happened. Also, you look like you're falling apart. You look like your face is melting and you look like you're made of Play-Doh. Adam 22, the cum guzzler, the, 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 put gerbils in his, in his ass, uh, that let man with 15 inch swipes. At this point in the video, it should already be quite clear that this guy has nothing to talk about in this video. He's already accused me of guzzling cum. What are we talking about? Open up his wife and then he got to take <laughs> Uh, swiller pills. If y'all don't know what a swiller is, if you're a man, look down. If you're a woman, look at your man. That thing that he beat you down with is a swiller. What? What kind of zesty communities are you involved with? Because I've never heard of this. A swiller? Can someone, can someone help me out with that? But Adam be off a bunch of uh, uh, pills to, to try to compete with black men. Okay, again, he's just making shit up. I've been extremely open about the dick pill thing. I've done exactly one dick pill in my entire life. It was a good time. I'm not going to lie. But, bro, what are you talking about? First of all, we don't open up the door and allow this man, a biker, a skater, to come into our culture. A skater. Welcome. Our culture. King Yeller. I am single-handedly a thousand times more important and more impactful on hip hop than you. And I say this with full understanding of the fact that you are at least some percent African American. How large a percentage, I do not know. But the fact that you're talking about letting me into your culture when really a huge percentage of the people who know about you wouldn't even know about you if it wasn't for No Jumper. You are not the gatekeeper of your own community. You are a weirdo outcast of your own community. King Yella, how do you think black people perceive you? I don't even need to finish the sentence. You already know. Okay. This way. And yes, what is going on with your face? It looks like half of your face is frozen. And you're still having to make YouTube videos with half your face melting off. This is a sad situation. You don't welcome people with open arms because they laugh in your face and they play with you. And really, they don't even like our race. Really, KKK. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he dropped a song, Brick Baby, Lush. We already crushed Lush because he like getting hit in his butt. Uh, Adam and Lush be having sex. Uh, I mean, it feels so below me to even react to this, but I guess this is like what we have to do to get a clip these days. But like, you're hearing what he says, right? Like, if Lush was getting fucked in the ass, don't you think that we would have already brought this up on the podcast? Don't you think we already would have made jokes about this? He just goes, Lush and Adam be having sex. <laughs> like, he, like, he feels like he's just going to be able to sort of, like, sneak these narratives through. Who are the hardcore King Yellow fans that are getting fooled by this? Got Lord Ross. Um, you coming out here getting involved with this nonsense. You just, you know, I know y'all just doing content, but it's just certain things you do and you don't do. But I know you, you don't care. 
very dangerous jacket on people. Keep in mind, this is sped up. This is how hard of a time he has forming a coherent thought. King Yellow, you are not meant to be a YouTuber. You are meant to drive a garbage truck, honestly. Like, why are you pretending to be capable of this? Butt plug, Mr. Butt plugs. Again, scrambling, trying to think of anything to say that it will make any kind of impact here. Adam, butt plug, Mr. Butt plug. Like, this is how his brain works. Again, garbage truck. Um, diss me. And uh, I guess the song was called Free Dirk. He's saying he OTF and all this. I mean, you know, the clout just be so crazy, bro. The clout be so crazy. Bro. He mentioned Schooly G. Um, Adam, I saw you on Billionaire talking about Schooly G. Schooly G told me he would never come on your platform. Never. Never come on your platform and give. Schooly G and Remo have been texting each other nonstop. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They're making fun of you in their songs, Yella. He's making fun of you. Because you're a non-factor. You're like an old-school drill rapper that people throw rack, rocks at out on the street. Like, if, if drill was a city, no drill city, if drill was a city, King Yella would be a homeless vagrant wandering the streets. He dissed Duck Mama. Um. No, I said she was a snitch. She filed a lawsuit against Dirk and Vaughn, Vaughn's estate because her son died and then they made diss songs about it. I called her a snitch. Is that not, like obviously she didn't snitch on the OTF situation, but obviously she also was not playing by the code of the streets. I don't think that's in any way controversial. My problem be with Adam is the truth come through jokes. So people are like, oh, I fucked with Adam hard. I love him. Well, I couldn't wait to go on no jump. I loved it. You know, I wanted to tap in. And it's crazy how your opinion of me changed as soon as I started making fun of you and acknowledging that you were full of shit. It's crazy how, like, me saying something bad about you, like, he just admitted. He just devalued his entire fucking perspective on No Jumper. And he's too dumb to even realize what he's doing. Why you saying my name? Because it's going to put some money in your pocket. It's going to, you know, keep the contract. No, you are a snitch. So it's like, I, I just remember like why me and Yellow stopped getting along. It's like, I can't be an honest creator of content unless I'm able to acknowledge that you got arrested, not even arrested, detained, and you immediately began answering all of the police's questions. They asked you if Lil Durk was a BD, you said yes. They asked if Offset was a GD, you said yes. You sat in an interrogation room with the police on body cam and told them all of the different gang affiliations all over Chicago, even though you live in Vegas. It's like, we can be cool, but yeah, you're a snitch. What are we even talking about? How could you ever in a million years deny being a snitch? You are a snitch. Like you are the definition of a snitch and that's why everybody in hip hop considers you a snitch. Skinny, also, you're, you're in that mix as well. We don't even need to go into that. Uh, right, that is the problem. I can't have a conversation with 600 Breezy, and then you come up, and I just act like your name is all good. It's not. You know? It's like, there's a lot of people that I do content with, and it's like, you know, I would still have to acknowledge that they, they told. You told. Like, reality is reality. 90 J trying to uh, uh, think they exposed, didn't want to play with me to 10,000 different people that come there from Cali to Florida, da, 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 study saying my name to niggas that don't even know who I am. So now I'm starting to take it personal. I don't think I ever brought your name up to someone who didn't know who you were, really. I mean, everybody knows who you are and they all know you told. Catch out of anywhere else by itself. <laughs> You're going to get what you looking for without that security. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in the same places, facilities, and things. Sounds good. You've seen me a whole bunch of times, Yellow, and I've never had security with me every single time I've seen you, and you ain't never did shit, so. You just think it's, it's everything fun and games. When the truth comes through, like, this is how you really feel. Cause you fun and games is a way better option than the truth. Like, you should be happy about me making jokes about your situation because that's way better than the reality of the situation, which is you're a snitch. you really a sucker. That's why. All the niggas leave your show. Everybody leave your show that see that you a hoe. The other people that they there because they're using you. They want Imagine that. 
I've been doing a podcast for a couple of years on No Jumper, but I'm going to leave because I think Adam's a hoe. Like, think about the type of math that's going on in King Yella's head at any given time that that makes sense. You play with a bunch of Chicago people, but you do not play with Cali people. I ain't heard of just one California person. Then you get lush on there. What? Bro, if any blood or crip did what you did, oh, oh my God, bro. We can all think of so many different rappers in California who have had their names dragged through the mud for stuff that is so much less than what you did. Oh, King Yellow, please do not lie like this. Please. Culture Vulture still in trying to fit. He's calling me a culture vulture because I went to O Block and gave Chief, or excuse me, King Von's mom money a large amount of money go watch the video i had a sponsor but we did give a lot of money he's calling me a culture vulture because i went and filmed a vlog in the hood gave out a shitload of money got love from all the people meanwhile why does king yellow never go back to chicago because they're gonna turn your ass into a pizza puff yella be serious we know what's going on Name one nigga that whooped me, robbed me, anything that you didn't talk to. You did a peace walk. They shot you. They put holes in you while you were trying to walk for peace. Meanwhile, fast forward, Jay Main, boom, he's in O Block, getting respect from the real members. You got pop just walking down the street. I done been beat up before. I done been robbed before, but not from none of these goofies you done talk to. And that shit was so long ago when I was a child. As a grown man, nobody ever mushed me, pushed me, did nothing. And ain't gonna do it. You're gonna have to kill me because I'm really the willing and ready mm. to die for what I stand for. But this is what the goofy Mog had to say. I did my man wrong now. I'm screaming free dirt. Now I'm on Lamar with my cannon head. We all know. We all heard this already. You really think you got to play it? The difference between me and him is that you can tell that I'm, like, I honestly don't give a fuck. I hope you guys don't think I do. He's really bummed. Like, he's sad. You could tell. Life has not been kind to this man. How is this your room? Look at other. Uh, never give up. What? You got like a, like a, a poster that like middle-aged moms put on their wall. What does this say? Learn from your past. Try your best. <laughs> High five. What is this? What's it say? There is no I in team. Why do you have a poster with all of the most generic, positive, life-affirming advice imaginable on the wall? King, ah. Uh, and if Mama Duck did snitch, so what could she snitch on? She's standing on business. He just admitted it. Yeah, what could she snitch on? Obviously, she couldn't snitch on Dirk. Duh. She's not part of his criminal conspiracy. But she did file a lawsuit that, realistically, if Duck was still alive, he would have not allowed her to file, right? No, Nobody would deny that. If, Dirk was, if, if Duck was still alive, he would have never let his mother file that lawsuit. And she did it anyway. She deserves to be discussed as such. For a son, as a mother... She got the right to do and whatever she pleased to do. Just Again, retard opinion. Like, actually, in his head, it's like two pieces of wood being rubbed together trying to start a fire. 